to a lock of hair, Sir W. Scott. A life-changing tragedy happened to the speaker. The love of his life died when their relationship was young, and he has not been able to overcome this loss. He has spent his life chasing one goal after another, only to promptly dismiss them when attained, and go on to the next. He looks on the lock of hair as a promise of happiness that could never be attained without the dearest one it belonged to. To a lock of hair. Thy hue, dear pledge, is pure and bright as in that well-remembered night when first thy mystic braid was wove, and first my Agnes whispered love. Since then, how often hast thou pressed the torrid zone of this wild breast, whose wrath and hate have sworn to dwell with the first sin that peopled hell? A breast whose blood's a troubled ocean, each throb the earthquake's wild commotion. Oh, if such clime thou canst endure, yet keep thy hue unstained and pure. What conquest o'er each erring thought of that fierce realm had Agnes wrought? I had not wandered far and wide with such an angel for my guide, nor heaven nor earth could then reprove me if she had lived and lived to love me. Not then this world's wild joys had been to me one savage hunting scene, my soul delight the headlong race and frantic hurry of the chase, to start, pursue, and bring to bay, rush in, drag down, and rend my prey. Then. From the carcass turn away. Mine ireful mood had sweetness tamed, And so soothed each wound which pride inflamed. Yes, God and man might now approve me If thou hadst lived, and lived to love me.